I'm Tammy Haddad, and this is Washington Insider. We're going international with our guest, Chris Addison. Chris is a director and one of the executive producers of Veep. And I'd like to say up front, I do work for HBO and am a consultant on this show. Let's talk about the short film you helped create for the 2014 White House Correspondents' Dinner. So I called the White House and talked to Shayla Murray in the Vice President's Office, the Deputy Chief of Staff, and told her that HBO wanted to do something, and she was all game for it, and came up with this great idea to do a kind of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, so we'd have Julia Weidreifus, the star of Veep, as Vice President, and Vice President Joe Biden as himself. Now, Chris, that's where you came in. Yeah, well, that's where the whole of, uh, of Team Veep came in, really. We set about trying to create a script that would feature Joe Biden and feature Julia as Selena uh, goofing off together, which is kind of a tricky thing to do because you're combining uh, two worlds that shouldn't really combine. And you've got uh, politicians are all, as we know, good actors to one extent or another, but, uh, but it's a whole different thing to start doing a comedy sketch. There you are walking into the Oval Office where 95% of yeah. even the media in Washington never go. You have this great HBO crew, you've got Julia yeah. Lee Dreyfus, you've got the Vice President yeah. of the United States, yeah. so get us inside that room and tell us about that shoot. I mean, that was, that was extraordinary. Uh, they gave us 45 minutes in the Oval Office. To put it in context for people who you know, have never been on a film set, to get a very simple two people conversation filmed will usually take you between an hour and two hours. And we had to do, we had to have them come in, we had to have several camera positions. We weren't allowed to put the lights on the carpet, so we had to have a guy actually physically holding the lights. There was Secret Service in there at, at all times. Uh, so everything felt very pressured. The time felt pressured. And by the time we left the room, it was almost as though we'd never been in there at all. It was almost as though uh, we'd spent so little, we'd, sp we'd been concentrating so hard on the thing that we were doing that just that one moment at the beginning where the three of us looked at each other and went, this is the Oval Office. That's the only time we really experienced it. We were right outside the door when you were shooting and the thing that got the biggest yeah. laugh outside is when Julia said, it's round, no, you know, no corners. Yeah, there are no corners. There's not one single corner. Oval. 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 Come on. That was the point where we wanted her to run around saying, there are no corners. There are no corners. But uh, the president's team felt that this was disrespectful to the Oval Office. It's an interesting balance that you have to strike there, you know, between uh, being funny about something and going where your satirical instincts would mainly take you, which is to be, you know, a little bit, a little bit cheeky, a little, poking a bit of fun. But they don't want any of that. You can't be cheeky at all. You can't really poke any fun. It's all got to be passed by four people. 